This time we have the fourth diagram wherein the object is located at the focal point. So where do you think our image will be formed? Let's find out. We're going to perform PF ray. What is P? P is a ray of light parallel to the principal axis. So this is the P ray. Next, reflected ray that is directed towards the focal point. So this is our PF ray. Next, the second principal ray is the FP ray. F is an incident ray that is passing through the focal point first but this time class since our object is situated right at the focal point so fp ray is impossible to do that's why we need to choose between cc ray and v ray fp ray cannot be done in this diagram so let's choose on which we are going to use is it cc or v ray so let's try the v ray first okay so v ray is a ray of light directed towards the vertex of the mirror so that is our incident ray it hits where the vertex is but then it follows the law of reflection that the angle of incidence should be equal to the angle of reflection so it is reflected at an angle equal with the incident ray so this is our v ray aside from it forms letter v it is a ray of light that is directed towards the vertex of the mirror okay so this is the vertex of the mirror so this time did the two reflected rays intersect no they did not intersect but we can always double check we can extend the reflected rays at the back of the mirror using virtual rays if the extended reflected rays intersect at the back of the mirror it means the image is located behind the mirror and is virtual so let's find out by extending the reflected rays at the back of the mirror well this one is also a reflected ray that we need to extend we use broken line to draw the virtual rays. Now, did the virtual rays intersect at the back of the mirror? No, it did not intersect. So, what does it mean? Where is our image located? The image is not formed in front of the mirror. At the same time, there is no image formed at the back of the mirror so how do we describe the image this time it means that we cannot describe it since there is no image formed when the object is standing at the focal point it means no image is formed 